first weapon review of the season and it's a banger be looking out for certain things on this exuvi and i think that's the pronunciation i got the exact role that i wanted it has a perk and a combo one of the best we've ever seen very very good a ton of play in pve and the crucible it's not craftable so you have to grind for it and to grind for it with the new system make a potion for the weapon drops and anything that you do pvp anything after a magic could drop it's great but the best bet is to pop one of these and play onslaught get one during or at the end it's a stasis 120 rpm hand cannon and check this out igneous hammers on the right we all know what igneous is it's very good but compared to some other ones it's like legit the second best stat at 120 in the game especially in the stats that matter and a plus is it's in a different spot than igneous this is stasis igneous is solar it has competing perks more on that in the crucible section and pve it's got just good stats to build off of it has the dark ether origin trait which is an s tier origin trait i love it final blows of this weapon periodically spawn dark ether charges charges can be detonated early with the weapons or you can run over them and doing so refills this weapon from reserves it is overflow built in just built in you do your thing you get downs every other kill or so you're gonna see these blue spheres that pop up you shoot them or run over them whatever your base magazine is it will double it so depending on where it's starting it's very important to get the base mag up the starting eight goes to 15 10 it has backup mag goes to 20 so you can get into a chain of not having to reload at all and also the spheres do just very small damage in the third rhyme stealer triple tap to the pain encore lone wolf stats for all keep away in the final column headstone precision instrument desperate measures frenzy redirection explosive payload one for all out of the gate let's talk about a god roll one of the main things to look for rhyme stealer headstone and a lot of this video is going to be focusing on this rhyme stealer Destroying Stasis Crystal or defeating a frozen target with this weapon grants you Frost Armor and Headstone. Precision Final Blows are going to spawn a Crystal. Headshot Final, spawn Crystal, Break Crystal, get Frost Armor. This combination's on five primary weapons this season. And good news, you get one for free. Fair Judgment. This is the PvE PvP Track Auto Rifle, 450 RPM. It will be a dream. You're going to love it. The other three are Stay Frosty. We'll see that later on. The World Drop Live Fire, which is this one, 180 RPM Scout Rifle, and then Red Tape. It's the same theme, so it has that Dark Ether Origin trait, 200 RPM Lightweight. No matter the weapon, godly combination. This just happens to be the only hand cannon. I'm going to start off with this. Every now and again, some perks come up where it's a must enhance. It is that much better when you enhance it. Rhyme Stealer is definitely that. If you get this roll, this combination, this perk, if you're going to use it, you need to enhance it because you get an improved amount of Frost Armor. You get two stacks now. Huge huge difference. The max stack of Frost Armor is 5, with Whisper of Rhyme on Stasis, you can go to a stack of 8. And that's a huge difference. It's either hitting 8 straight crystals or frozen targets, or hitting 4. It's cutting it in half. And at base, if let's say you're on Strand, you're on Solar, get a headshot, final blow, spawn a crystal, you do it 3 times, instead of 5 to get the max stacks. And you've seen Frost Armor on the screen. The times 1 stack is 4.5% DR, the max stack is 22.5%, on Stasis you get up to 36%. And in PvP, I'll put those numbers up too, and I'll talk about them later, 2%, 4%, 6%, 16% times 8. If you have Frost Armor up, if you're down in Frozen Targets or Stasis Crystals. And why this is so good, of course Stasis, Rhyme, 8 stacks. You could, let's say on Warlock, throw out a Bleak Watcher, freeze some targets. You could throw a Diamond Lance, freeze some targets. Freeze things with Withering Blade, whatever. Something gets frozen, you down them with a the Hand Cannon, 2 stacks of Frost Armor. Very high uptime on the Stasis Kit. Then all the Stasis things that go with it, increased Frost Armor duration, Shattering Stasis Crystals, Grants Nade Regen. I did some Icefall Mantle with it on Titan. Absolute unit of an exotic now, try that out, it's a lot of fun. Just 8 stacks all the time with it and the things that they've added are crazy good something to keep in mind since it's enhanced that means you can add in one of the new mods one of those mods is called synergy final blows of this weapon have a chance to create an elemental pickup match against damage type so every now and again it's just going to spawn a stasis shard and when you collect that you're gonna get melee energy but also if you have something like grim harvest on pick up a stasis shard will also create you a stack of frost armor it's really good guys really really good and last thing about the stasis sub if you're going to use this pve crucible wherever i highly recommend that you fit in rending primary ammo does more damage to frozen targets and crystals because to down a crystal takes two shots with rending it just one taps the crystals very fluid with the flow of this thing to get your frost armor shooting the dark ether spheres highly recommend but where it gets the most interesting is you get frost armor and not be tied to stasis at all through the weapon any subclass any character any exotic whatever you can do things like gifted conviction on arc hunter you have the dr from the exotic so do ascension whatever you get your dr you could loop that really really easily on arc hunter and then with the weapon get kills spawn crystal the crystal has aoe now you're getting frost armor on top of your dr hunter has start arachne and that's through the helmet or the exotic class item you can get frost armor and woven mail warlock has like the stag rift and on prismatic there's devour frost armor so throw the bleak watcher get an ability final you have dr and as you're getting low you're getting health back because of devour it's been a blast to play with. Highly recommend. I'm almost at a thousand kills on it. Enhancing it made a world of difference. Not only for the perk, but adding in the mods. And it keeps getting better and better the more the artifact goes. One with the frost. 
Enhanced Ether Generator, Wind Chill, Rapid Precision Hits, Grant Frost Armor. So, hey, out of the gate, you're adding even more stacks. And it's a Dark Ether weapon, so you're getting more stacks. Hail the Storm, and we've seen this. Shattering Stasis Crystal spreads slow and does ice damage. It all goes with this weapon. Built right in is Headstone to give yourself Frost Armor. Loving it, highly recommend. Like a defining stasis roll for the entire element. It's like Repulsor Brace Disabilizing Rounds. That's what this is, but for stasis. And yeah, you can use things like Triple Tap Precision Instrument, Triple Tap Headstone, Stats for All, One for All. And hey, because that thing has the Overflow Origin trait, those things aren't bad. Great trait, great weapon. PvE, though, Rhyme Stealer Headstone is the play for sure. PvP-wise, I actually want to start off with this roll, the one that we've been talking about, same one. And I didn't go through it, but it's Hammer Accurized Rhyme Stealer Headstone. 81 range, pretty good. That's 38 meters. That's fine. Same deal. It's not tied to anything. It's just the weapon. You get a kill, crack the crystal, Frost Armor, two stacks. PvP numbers are different for Frost Armor, and they're up on the screen again. You really need at least three to start kind of shifting things around, but four is ideal. Four, as an example, you can't three shot with a 140 hand cannon if you're at Frost Armor 4. And anything when it starts getting into fall off, Frost Armor at any stack's really good at that point. But while playing with Enhanced, like right here, you get a kill, crack the crystal, Frost Armor 2, do it again and again. And as you're gathering these stacks of Frost Armor, you have a lot of ranges of 120. Most things aren't going to be hitting their TTK on you once you get your frost armor stack that high and that ar that i talked about earlier it's going to be good doing this too but just as a regular weapon you can make this work makes it unique downing frozen targets mainly hitting crystals and i didn't talk about it in pve because it's, it's going to happen all the time but if you run a glacier grenade you throw it start hitting it hit three crystals you're gonna be at max stacks you hit four crystals let's say you're running rhyme you're gonna be at frost armor eight and that's just there and not to mention, I've been seeing a lot of people running stasis in PvP. You can just hit their crystals. If you hit their crystals, you get two stacks of frost armor. Pretty scary to think about. I'm not going to get into it, but it's there. But through those grenades or the weapon itself, creating crystals with headstone, it works. It's very unique. That said, there's also a couple really good roles here that a lot of players are going to be going for. And remember, since it's enhanced, you can have access to the ballistic mod and other mods, plus six range, plus six stability. I'm gonna talk about it in a moment, but if you've grinded for and used that criminal that we've talked about, something new, specifically for enhanced precision instrument, this one is better. It will be better because it has access to, let's say, keep away precision instrument, plus 10 range being 15 meters and out, plus 15 range if it's enhanced. You get accuracy on your follow-up shots, you get reload, and of course, precision instrument, really, really good. But there's this new perk, Lone Wolf. Though we don't have the numbers, it is noticeable, and it felt very, very good on a sniper that I'm using. I'm going to talk about it in a later video. It says you get aim assist, aim down sight speed, and airborne effectiveness. And this thing's AE is really high at 25. It has 11 more than Round Robin, and that thing's strand. Like, that's kind of its thing, strand weapons. So it has a ton of AE. You're adding even more, and you can add on Icarus. You know, on in flight, have that with the precision instrument. You can easily get this thing to 98, 100 range if it lands right. No problem. That's including keep away, and that's accuracy too. And then there's the use of the ballistic mod. You can get it to 94 range, 40 stability. Very, very good for a 120. Up there. Like I said, technically, like right behind Igneous Hammer. And it is like Igneous level good stats when you start getting these things up to 100 range. It hits caps. And maybe you do like Encore. That can go to 100 range, 70 stability. Like it's there. And also to mention, the Dark Aether Spheres. Like, you're going to get a down, they're going to pop up. You tag it, you go overflow the mag, 20 rounds, 15 rounds, whatever it is. And of course, like, everything on this weapon, if you see it and like it, do it. It can and will work. Stats for all, one for all. Maybe you want to get crazy with redirection. Maybe you love explosive payload on a 120. Like, it's going to be there and it's going to work. A frenzy roll, it could be a workhorse. But in the end, Rhyme Stealer Headstone, Enhanced Rhyme is warranted. Lone Wolf Keep Away with Precision Instrument, Enhanced Precision Instrument is warranted. Definitely enhance those if you're going to go all in on this thing, because it will play differently and pretty much double the lethality of what it can do. There's a ton of play with exotics, the artifact, subclasses, everything. It's a truly special and unique hand cannon, and that's the main thing to focus on. Right now, only five primary weapons. There's a couple scouts, the AR, the AR is going to be great. And you know what? It might be just overall like one of the better ones, but none of that takes away that this is the only hand cannon. And I usually don't use 120s in PvE, but I'm thinking I'm using it strictly for frost armor. It synergizes with some of the things that I'm doing. Stasis is on the artifact. I still have a forbearance or maybe choir of one to pair with it. It had a place in my loadout and it did great, but it's more so about what it's giving you. And it's giving you a lot. If you're new here, remember to hit the subscribe button. And if you are subscribed, thank you so much for your support. There are so many weapons that came out and I'm excited to dive into them. This set of weapons with this origin trait i plan to get the exact ones that i want for this one i still need the keep away or lone wolf precision instrument and i will be enhancing that because it has a higher ceiling than something new in criminal's dagger but what's nice about these weapons onslaught's the main activity they're going to be dropping so at one point one day or the next it'll eventually drop but i'd love to hear your thoughts on this and that main combination of rhyme stealer headstone remember highly recommend
recommend that you enhance Rhyme Stealer. Let's talk about it. Thank you for watching, and until the next one, I am Cool Guy.